Welcome back to Sunless Sea. I am currently at Aram, and what I want to do here is buy a bunch of strange catches and use it to talk to my crew. Because I believe two of them actually require strange catches to do anything with. Like, I believe her... Yeah, she wants strange catches to dine with her, and my bandaged something or other, I still don't remember how to pronounce that name, also requires it. Oh, he requires muter salt too. I forgot about that. Okay, that's probably not going to happen. Unless meter salt is sold here, which I don't think it is. <laughs> well, if they sell it, it'll probably cost like five secrets or something. Something completely absurd. Let's check. Nope. Alright, so that's not going to happen. Although, you know, I'll probably just buy some strange strange catch and just keep it with me. And whenever I find meter salt, I can uh, talk with them. Because if I don't buy Strange Catch here, it's going to be pretty hard to get. This is the only place I know of that actually sells it. Other than this place, I think I've only gotten it from random encounters, you know, blowing up ships and stuff like that. Um, you know, let's actually go check where Muter Salt is sold. Wait, not found. What? Are you serious? Have I never written... That can't be right. Don't I have Mount Palmerston in here? I thought Mount Palmerston had meter salt. Eh. Uh. Really? Huh. In that case, I have absolutely no idea where meter salt is actually sold. Huh. I know I've bought it before, specifically for... Or considered buying it before, specifically for the trade quests. I thought it was somewhere up here. I thought it was at Mount Palmerston. Apparently not. Wither? I don't know. I'm confused. Hmm. Well. Maybe I won't carry along extra strange catch, because whatever I'm going to do next is probably actually going to require quite a bit of hold space. Well, no, it's fine. You know, there's no harm in having just one extra thing in my cargo taking up space. So I'll probably buy an extra. Anyway, let's get talking to Maybe's daughter. Let's definitely talk to Maybe's daughter. Where's the thing? There's the thing. One supply, no problem. I just got a bunch of supplies at Aceville. A knowing smile. I've heard about you. You like to invite your officers to dinner, learn their secrets. Well, you don't need to dig far to find my secret. I wanted to talk to you about it, actually. I've never met my mother. I know my father. I'm a countess on his side, actually. I'd like to find her. She's somewhere out at Z. If only... Really? You'd help me. That's too kind. If you insist. Here, it so happens that I made a list earlier tonight. Oh my god. Mother will be found in one of these places. Wither, the Isle of Cats, Aram, the Chelinate Cane Shadow, Port Cornelian, Surface Port of Naples. Wow. Review this in your journal under learning about Maybe's daughter. Alright, well, I guess I don't really need to specifically worry about it. I can just keep going around like normal and I'm sure I'll hit most of these places. In fact, Aram I'm already inside of, so I guess I should probably check. Gained a bunch of qualities. Gained a secret. <laughs> Apparently, you've agreed to find the mother of Maybe's daughter. Well, let's check Aram. Help Maybe's daughter search for her mother. An almost impossible challenge. What? Two <laughs> percent? <laughs> um. She's known to visit. I think she must have come here when I was, um, conceived. It's close to dreams. She will inhale a gulp of air, eyes half closed. I love this. It's like coming home. I don't understand. Why is the chance of success 2%? Is that implying that when it said her mother could be anywhere, what it actually means is I can guarantee to find her at any one place if I try enough times? I mean, at 2% per try, then assuming I kind of hit the average, I should be able to find her in 50 tries, <laughs> which is not very good. 
but that's weird. It's almost impossible, but I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Eh, let's try it. You've, I've, what? I succeeded? I just succeeded at a 2% roll? Are you kidding? <laughs> the Z's have blessed me today. Alright. <laughs> that was the quickest quest ever. It's like, hey, eating over some fish? Uh, you know, you've... Let's go find your long-lost mother. Haven't seen her in 50 billion years. Oh, let's go check where we're at right now. Oh, she's here. There you go. Solved. Found your long-lost mother. Life's goal is complete. You can die happy now. I truly am the maker of dreams. Anyway, quickly, up to the Seven Serpent. The Riddle Fisher said, You will follow the daughter's stunned gaze. A woman in a lilac gown will stand beneath the Seven Serpent, chatting calmly to a half-visible figment. Her features will bear an unmistakable resemblance to your officers. We should talk, she will say to the daughter, quite calmly. The daughter will assemble the rags of her composure with remarkable speed. Excuse us, she will say. As you can see, everything in Aram is written in a very strange tense. Future, past, whatever. Very strange. Everything's very dreamlike. Alright, well. There you go! The daughter leaves with a woman in lilac. You see nothing of them for the rest of the night. But in the morning, the daughter returns, her eyes bright with purpose. Show me your tattoo, she demands. The unflinching eye. Uh, you mean this? Aha! The eye. The eye sees, and the heart understands. My mother wouldn't tell me, but her other daughters knew her secrets. The daughter's grin is not quite sane. My mother forged an alliance with the bazaar. That's how she came to learn the great signs, the tattoos no one wears. We must return to London. Uh, that is, can we, uh, please, can we return to London? Please. Very interesting. Also gained a mirrors for that, which is quite, quite nice. Whoa. Oh god, that's, that's an intense stare. Eh. Uh, what? What do you want from me? That night. You walk beside a river of serpents, through a green and fervid jungle, beneath an orange sun, in the company of a tiger. It watches you with wary, humorous eyes. <laughs> Those are not humorous eyes. Those are bloodthirsty eyes. Speak with the tiger. I understand you become involved in my daughter's intrigues. Well, you look like the sort who can take care of yourself. But let me repay you as best I may. Wait. You become involved in my daughter's intrigues. You're her father? Maybe... Maybe's father... Is a tiger? Or is this the mother? Or, I guess this could be the... I... I don't know. I'm confused. Well, it's a pair of bull and panther. Hi. Tiger tails. Whoops. This cat walks in the mirror marches at the edge of dream. Consequently, it sees many and curious things through mirrors. It shares them with you as you walk with it beside the writhing river. When you wake, you remember them clearly. Strategic information, a secret, memory of distant shores. Hmm. That's the repayment, I guess. Thank you. That was very unexpected. I did not expect to solve that quest in like two seconds. Well, let's be clear, to solve the beginning of the quest, because any quest for your officers are pretty damn lengthy. Okay. Welp. Uh, I guess I'm ready to go. The only question is, where am I going to go next? So, I really want to go to Port Cecil, because I want to dump off my chess piece that I think I can sell. Because my Anacreus Outcast 
got it at the salt lines, and I want to continue that quest, and I think I have to go to Port Cecil to do that. So I definitely want to head back to London. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff to do. So, let's see. Um, a bunch of stuff requires me to go back to London. I have to dump off my clay men there. Um, what else? I want to go to Port Cecil along the way to hopefully continue that quest. There's more. Oh, yes. I also cannot forget that I have an empty mirror catch box. And I also have the clay men, which means I want to do this before dumping off my clay men. I want to uh, create another trap at Hunter's Keep. So that, uh, what's his name? So that the tireless mechanic can sleep again, and hopefully I can progress his quest even more. So I want to do that. Um, anything else? I think think that's it. So I kind of just need to, like, head straight to Port Cecil and home. The question is, do I have enough fuel to do that? I'm a little bit low. I've got 12. That's, that's probably enough. That should be fine. And even if it's not, I'm sure I could fuel up at Port Cecil or, you know, someplace around here. Expensive, but I'm sure I could. Alright, so the only thing to do is let's go ahead and buy one more strange catch so that whenever I get meter salt, I can talk with the bandaged something. I'm just going to call him the cook. The bandaged cook. So let's buy one. Could sell my ambiguous elith for zero secrets. Give it away for free. That sounds incredibly dumb. Let's not do that. I think that's it. Yeah, let's take off. Wait, none of my other officers require a strange catch, right? I should actually talk with him some more. This guy. It doesn't require a strange catch, but I should talk with him some more. Don't want to increase my iron. I've already seen you and you. Um, nope, nope, nope. Can't do anything more with this quest at the moment. I need the um, live catches to take to the Chapel of Lights for him. Okay, hold on. What is doing this do? Just chatting about random stuff. Because I think I already... Like, I've already done his quest, haven't I? Or, like, I've started it, I think. Maybe I haven't. Alright, let's chat about science. Now have an intriguing snippet. Um, I feel like I might have, might have read this before. I think I read this or something like it before. Basically gets really excited about talking about light, and then says that the gruel is a little bit too rich for him. He's a very plain person. Alright, well, I've still got plenty of supplies, so... Talk about your medical career. Pretty much the same thing as before. Talking about science and stuff. I feel like I've read some of this, so that's why I'm not reading it. Uh, another intriguing snippet. I don't know. Invite him to drink with me. Okay, I guess that's how we continue it even more. Don't have any wine, so it looks like that's the end of that. Alright, now we can take off. How's my terror? 30? Mm, I think I want to leave my lights on. Well, not so close to Aram. Oh god, now it's gone red. Okay, let's leave it on. So, to Port Cecil we go. Can't forget, I've got a kid waiting for me back home. I'm really curious what would happen if you actually got inside of one of these vortices. Not curious curious enough to try it, of course. But, like, do you just instantly die, or... Or what? Because it seems like you get sucked into the center and you wouldn't be able to get out. Alright, doing pretty good on fuel, actually. 
Though I haven't come very far. Hmm, I don't want to go into the fog. Oh, looks like the fog just disappeared. Perfect. Or, oh, no, never mind. It moved or something. Um, do I want to come in from the top? There's probably going to be monsters up here, but it seems like the best way. Plus, I might see something new up here. Probably not a new place to dock, but maybe a couple new places to give me some more fragments. I feel like coming in from the top is going to make me encounter those beasts that I've seen in the water. There's a place. Doze 8. There's always a beast, like, right here. I think I'm about to head right into it. One of those, like, eel-like beasts. Yep, there it is. Oh, Jesus. That fucking scared me. That <laughs> made me jump, that sound. How many hit points does that thing have? 200? I probably could take it. In fact, I do even have a strange catch. Which means, if it does happen to go under the water, I could just kill it. I'm gonna kill it. I'm sick of that thing. It annoys me. I'm gonna do the, uh, shoot it and slow it down and then just constantly back up while pounding it. Alright, slowed. take some damage here, but that's okay. Oh, maybe not. Oh, wow, I don't think I'm gonna take any damage. That was so easy. Alright. Defeated an albino moray. D dash dash N me? It's an ugly thing. What? Damn? That's weird, I'm not sure why there's dashes. Even uglier dead than alive. Friendlier, though. Rescue a new Jonah? <laughs> what? I need an objective. Tomb colonists is open a monstrous eel. Hmm? Well, I don't have it. 46% chance of success. Uh, let's butcher it. Ooh. A hunting trophy. And Stygian Ivory, and an unprepossessing mass. Eh, let's open it. Get a supply and one tear. That's fine. Edible, once roasted into submission. It will serve, but the smoke brings a kind of horror. A waking dream, a kinesthetic sense of vast things coiling in crushing lightless black. Eh. Unfortunately, they did take a bit of my fuel, so now I'm pretty sure I am going to have to refuel. And according to my notes that I'm looking at, I just write down random notes of stuff I can bring to certain places. And according to them, it says I can take a hunting trophy to Godfall for something. I don't know what. But apparently it can be used there. Alright, uh, you do sell fuel, right? Okay, thank god. It's expensive, but I'm going to buy some. Alright, so let's see if I can do something with my chess piece. Uh, let's get a port report first. Sell my chess piece. Okay, so I don't actually have a chess piece. I thought he... I mean, he found a chess piece in the water. But I guess it's not in a Posseon chess piece. Um, let's do this. Oh, here we go. Uh, setting up. The outcast toddles eagerly over to the chessboard. 
to place the sphinxstone piece at one corner. Oh, yes. The voice of the principal sighs. Oh, yes, this will be very good. But I ache so to be reduced, to be less. Will you bring more? I will pay most in Scintillac, and in secrets. Yes, I'll need to complete my chess set, and then you'll need to defeat me. Bring me a wakeful idol to be my new bishop. Bring me a monster's tooth to be my new knight. Bring me a heart-shelled silver to be my new root. Bring me a little flint to be my new paw. And bring me a fluke core for my kin. At each phrase, the outcast nods and sways, nods and sways. Somehow it looks frightened. Whoa! He just gave me seven scintillac. Well, I shouldn't say he. I have no idea. It. It gave me seven scintillac. A monstrous tooth. Well, I do have a hunting trophy, and it does look like a tooth, so... Maybe that's already completed? I suppose we should go see. Do I have any hold space left after that? Uh, a little bit. I've got to do something with a Scintillac. I think I can go give it to the uh, Merchant Adventurer. But there's other stuff I could do with it as well, but I don't remember what. I think I never wrote down whatever I could use Scintillac for, because I assumed that I would never actually have seven Scintillac. So I was like, nah, forget it. Anyway, yeah, let me see if I can give him the hunting trophy. Oh, yeah, here we go. Hunting trophy and Stygian Ivory. And the ambiguous Eolith. So even though the Eolith itself is worth very, very little in terms of Echo, it's uh, useful for quest stuff. So I'm glad I held on to it. Alright, Stygian Ivory. We don't necessarily need this for my disillusion. The others are tools. This is an ornament. But Ivory and Chess is asked. Aren't we? Ivory in chess is asked, aren't we? What? I don't even... <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. My emissary has your payment. A little of me. There. There I shine. And a secret. The spiders of Savior's Rocks crushed them, crushed them, made arrangements with my cousin. Bargains to blind a monster. Remember that. There are many alliances. Bargains to blind a monster. Hmm? I don't know what that really means, but it did say remember that, and I have been visiting there recently, so I'm actually going to write that down on my notes. So, Savior's Rocks. Bargains to... Or... Some, I guess someone, his, his cousin. Bargain to blind a monster. Whatever that means. So I guess there's another alliance that I can do there. Maybe I can help the cousin? Like, stop the spiders? I don't know. Seven more Scintillac! <gasps> Holy shit! Okay, uh, I need to stop giving pieces. Because if I give another one, I think I'm going to get seven more Scintillac, which I won't have space for. Holy shit! Okay. Wow. Um. This quest is awesome. So let's stop doing that. I guess I'll explore around here. Oh, a shadowy predator. Let's retreat. We were fortunate, gained one tear, one tail of tear. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to buy one fuel. And that's all I can hold. <laughs> 14 freaking Scintillac, Jesus. Alright, hold on. Where can I use Scintillac? I know I can use it back at London for the Merchant Venturer. But that only uses up seven. I know There was another place that required seven Scintillac. What was it? Is it, is it in my notes? No, it's not in my notes. Shit. I don't remember where it was. Alright, well, I need to get back to London. I 
And how many pieces do I have of that quest? Like, I can give him three pieces, and he wanted, what, four or five? Where'd it be? Where would it be? I don't even see it listed in here in the locations. Nuncio, Principal's End. Oh, sa no, Savior's Rocks. This is Spiders. I don't see it. Oh, whatever. I'll find it some other day. Alright, let's see if I can get back with 7 Fuel. I don't think I can. But there's got to be somewhere where I can stop for Fuel, right? Gators Mourn, Station 3, Abbey Rock, something. I mean, I could always just turn off my lights, which I suppose I probably should. My terror's not that high. Yeah, it'll be fine. I'll probably blow up some crabs or something along the way. Reduce my terror. Fear my call. Should I go through the fog? Yeah, I probably should. It would take too much fuel to avoid it. Oh, hello. Oh, perfect. No, 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 no. I want to come at you from your ass, not from your front. Here we go. Slow you down, get behind you. Oh yeah, we're good. No, don't shoot! Alright, we're good. Ooh. And you are... Oh crap, that was stupid. I was thinking I could kill it in time, but I forgot that it charges up its weapons just as I do, which means once the weapons are charged, which I believe is when those exclamation marks pop up above it, that means it has charged weapons, and that means as soon as I'm within the shooting radius, it can instantly shoot, so it doesn't need to, like, start charging every time it sees me and gets me in sight. It can pre-charge it, and then once I've reappeared back in its line of sight, it can instantly fire. So I've got to remember that. It doesn't really matter, because I'm going to repair my hole anyway, so any damage I take is pretty much irrelevant. As long as it doesn't go below 100 and I start losing crew. Ooh. Wait, do I even have room? Apparently I do. I'm probably not going to have room for this, though. Nope. I <laughs> didn't think so. Four supplies, that's really good. Uh, well, I guess I'll dump the Syntelac to hold the supplies. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Supplies are worth more than fuel. But I need the fuel to get back, so supplies gotta go. I really wish I had a ship with a larger hold. A hold of 40 is really very limiting. Very, very limiting. I think it takes a shit ton of money to get a ship with a bigger hold, though. Unless you want to go with a merchant ship, which I don't. Oh, hello. Yes! Just go right into there. Hit the rocks, please. And just don't move, that's great. You just stay right there, okay? Ow. Alright, I'm probably not going to have room for whatever this has. Two more fuel, two more supplies. No way I have room for that. I do? Okay, apparently I do. Crate of Human Souls. Now what do I dump? Uh, I believe a Crate of Human Souls is actually not worth very much. Yeah, you can buy it for 57 at Con Shadow. It's unstamped. Unstamped. Yeah, 57 a con shadow. It's not worth that much. Um, can I say this? I want to say it. I can't. So I don't know if you can actually sell that at London. Mm. 
you probably can sell it to London. I'm going to assume so. I'm going to hope so. So I'm going to keep it and then sell it. So it's, it's probably worth a bit more than supplies. Alright, well, I don't need to worry about fuel anymore. Yeah, plenty of fuel to get back. So I want to go to Hunter's Keep, but the thing is, I'm pretty sure I need a Foxfire Candle to do that. Like, I think I might be missing a thing or two. I've got the main stuff. I have the clay men, and I have the, the box, but yeah, I think I needed a candle too. Why am I going up here? Oh, I wanted to stop at Abby's Rock. I don't remember why. Why do I want to stop here? I guess we'll find out. I don't, I don't know if there's something waiting for me here, or... Or what? Oh, now I remember why. It's because, um... My officer... Yeah, my presbyterate adventuress. Uh, it's because she might be able to die an honorable death here. By challenging the... The nuns of Abbey Rock. Or the sisters, or whatever. Let's get a port report. And I know from experience that bringing recent news to them is pretty much pointless. Gets you like nothing. And yeah, I can offer my hunting trophy, but I want to keep that for the uh, Port Cecil. Yeah, so let's see if the sisters are willing to arrange the adventuress's death. Ah, oh, even they won't fight her. We won't fight you. Not to the death. That's not really us. But we can bring you something that will end you. An old adversary of ours. Be sure that it will end you. But fight hard, and you might wound it. The wound will remain as long as it does, which may be forever and one day. It may take that wound into the sky. Sound good? We'll need something to lure him. Bring us, hmm, appropriate texts. Yes, I'm serious. Bring five units of romantic literature to Abbey Rock. <laughs> what? <laughs> I need romantic literature to lure this beast to a fight to the death. What kind of a beast is this? The kind that reads like dime store romance novels on the beach? What the hell? Okay. I mean, I still don't have access to the trade network at the Canate, so I can't actually do that at the moment, but uh, good to know. It's probably going to show up in a quest, right? It's probably going to show up in a quest in my journal, but just in case. I'm going to write it down on my notes. Five romantic literature. Um... To be delivered to Abbey Rock. For fight to the death with a romantic beast monster thing. Alright, there we go. They have no shop. Should I watch them? Is there anywhere else where I want to use my something waits me in port? Yeah, I'm going to be hitting up Hunter's Keep pretty soon, Shepherd's Isle. Um, you know what, while I'm here, I actually want to go to Station 3 and cultivate my relationship, if you will, with the assistant there. Because I'm really curious where that heads. Ooh, I see something in the water. Hello. I didn't mean to shoot. I don't know why I did that. Yeah, this is going great for reducing my terror. This is awesome. Scoop it up. <laughs> Using a bunch of fuel going around here, but again, I don't care. I have plenty to get back, and of course I'm going to get a bunch from all my port reports. Ooh. Lots of things. Let's 
step inside the gate. Can't do any of that. Smith's Emporium. Search the place on my own. 85% chance. Hmm. What, am I going to, like, steal something from him? Seems a little bit rude. I think I've already asked these questions. I don't think they lead to anything in particular. Oh. Never mind. This actually did do something. That actually increased my trading in long boxes quality and gave me 50 fragments. Alright, um, how did she come to be here? Um, she tells you she can't recall how she got here. She remembers what happened in London. And then there's a gap. And then her first memories of this place are of the shape of the steepled building, looming through the dark. This comes from before, she says, drawing back her protective clothing. Between her glove and her sleeve is a web of old white scars, as though her skin had frozen and cracked and healed again. She pulls the sleeve back down after a moment. Oh, whoa. Is that a picture of the heart metal tonic? The one that supposedly causes the heart metal to actually grow? Then she tells you what happened before. She was a doctor, healing the malaise of countesses and publishing research about the applications of mushroom-derived spirits. Her twin lived with her, at her expense, but preferred more bohemian entertainments. The acolyte describes what their life together was. Sapia anatomical charts next to dream animals done in viridian paint. Prisoner's honey jostling... Uh, jostling retorts full of medicine. Silk scraps in the bandage drawer. The twin is gone now. Something about an accident. A footbath full of silvery fluid. Skin cracked and frozen. A resuscitation attempt that went wrong, preventing any return from death. Afterward, her memories are blurred until they pick up again here. She regards her present occupation as... Penance of some kind. Oh. Sorry to hear that. I can press for details. Hmm, 82% chance of success. Do I want to push it? No, let's not push it. She pretends unsuccessfully not to need any comfort. She lowers the goggles over her eyes for a few minutes. You can't see whether there are any tears. The conversation is taking place in a corner of the building on makeshift furniture fashioned out of emptied coffins. It feels strangely homey. What about you, she asks. Is there any secret you struggle not to tell anyone? The only way you can say no and actually mean it is mean it is if you don't have any lamentable relics. Hmm. Tell the whole horrible truth. Yeah, tell her everything. Sure. She listens politely as you relate to the entire tale in all its gruesome detail. Shattered teeth and cooking tips and all. I've heard of such things before, she says at the end. You're not the first, and won't be the last. Gain five favor. Ooh, nice. Oh, wow, this is going places. It's turned to a drink over mushroom wine. A uh, talk over mushroom wine. Candlelight warms this corner of the building. The austere acolyte has pushed her goggles away from her face and has set out a light meal. A bottle of Greyfield's 1882 is open to breathe. It's the most comfortable you've seen her yet. I wonder if you can romance her. I don't know, this is turned to, you know, telling each other our secrets, we're talking over wine. I mean, it's kind of romantic. I can say I admire her. 75% chance of success. Maybe you could. Oh, I think you can. The eyes behind the goggles are an unexpected shade of green. Lovely. But, of course, I have a kid and a sweetheart back in London, so I probably shouldn't do that. If 
only there's an option to have an open relationship with her back in London. Hundred percent chance of success, absolutely. Uh, let's ask her what she thinks of the work she does. She looks away from you, into the glass of mushroom wine. There's a story I heard when I first apprenticed here, she says. That there was someone who worked here who swallowed one of the black pellets, and it made them impervious to grief. There was nothing they could do. Uh, there was nothing they could see that was worse than what they already knew. She pours some of the wine out for you. I think that would be a great strength to have, don't you? Huh. Impervious to grief. Yeah, she's here to forget what happened to her twin. Wow, gained ten favor and a secret. This relationship is going blazes. I don't know where, but it's going somewhere. Let's see if there's anything else I can do. Let's see. Mm, is this doing something? Autopsy? Oh, it's another autopsy, apparently. Mm. Let's see. The body inside is her own, or rather, it has her n nose, her cheekbones, her long fingers. Its hair is longer, and something about its eyes make it appear more dissolute. But it is, or at least it could be, her twin. Her death was my fault, says the acolyte bleakly. So of course she comes back to me. Oh. How long ago did this happen? Her twin is, is here. Help her or discourage her. Um. I don't know if she's ready to deal with it yet. I, I mean, I really couldn't say. I don't know her that well. Hmm. Let's discourage her. A connection and peace. You offer a reasoned argument. She doesn't want to listen, at first. She moves the body to its marble slab and lays out her array of scalpels. But while you talk, she does not begin the incisions. And after a time, she lays down the blades and slumps beside the marble table. It is a long evening. She weeps. She cleans up the body and puts it in clean clothes. You help her wrap it in silk and return it to its coffin. Some other servant of the masters can investigate, but this task is not for her. Let's see, can I do more? See how she's doing. Change of career. Sitting on a blanket overlooking the choppy water, with a bottle of Greyfields at her side, she tells you she thinks her time here is coming to an end. That it's time to go back into medicine for the living. Or, at least, the less dead. If you come to this port again, she won't be here. Oh. That's... Bittersweet. I was hoping to talk to her some more, or I was thinking maybe she would want to sign, sign aboard my ship or something. But apparently that's it. But it, it sounds like it's a good thing for her. I guess I've somehow convinced her to go into a different line of, of work, which seems like she would be happier. Maybe. Huh. Well. I'm kind of sad. I feel like I've lost something, but... At the same time, I think I may have helped her. And I also just gained five hearts, which is actually really, really good. So, she's not here anymore, huh? And I don't need her to do stuff here, I suppose. I guess I can still deliver long boxes and stuff. Huh. It's over. I bet that quest can change in many different ways depending on what you do. 
Like, if you try to romance her and compliment her, maybe she would want to sign aboard the ship. Or maybe she'd want to stay or something. Yeah, I, I didn't expect that quest to advance so much while I was there. That was very quick. Get a port report, and I think that's it for this place. Could buy some fuel, do I need it? Hell no. I'm close to fall in London. Okay. Well, um, I think I'm actually going to end this episode here because I have a lot of things to do and they're about to happen very fast and they're going to be very dense, all clustered around London and Hunter's Keep. And if I go there, I'm just going to get sucked right into it and this episode is easily going to become over an hour long. So, yeah, I think I'll end it here, but there's a ton of stuff to do right when I get back because I'm going to go back to Hunter's Keep, see what I need to do the Dream Serpent thing to help out the tireless mechanic. I have most of the stuff, but I think I'm going to need to go back to London to actually get a Foxfire candle, I believe. I don't think it actually says what I need here, does it? No. Yeah, so I'll actually have to go to Hunter's Keep to see what I need, but I think I just need a candle. So, go there, see what I need, go back to London, resupply. Uh, I've got my kid waiting for me back there, so I have to go see what's going on with that. Just go back to Hunter's Keep, do that, um... Oh, and then go back to London, deliver the clay men. And, oh, even more stuff to do in London, too, because uh, one of my officers wanted me to go, maybe his daughter wanted me to go back to London because I just found her mother. It's somewhere, I don't know, it's somewhere in here, but yeah, I need to go back to London to advance that quest. So, there is a ton of stuff to do. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.